Okay, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to make our own font library. And we're actually going to spell out a word. And I want to show you how easy it is to get really great results to do some custom design work that nobody's ever seen before. And it'll be really super unique. So I already have one letter created. So I just wanted to save some time with the video. And here is my prompt. I'm just going to pick the one that I like the best, right? So this is the letter that I liked. Of all these images that I created using the same prompt, uh, what I did is I like this one the best. And so I'm going to use that for the rest of the letters. But I kind of want to show you what I did. So I used the power of power permutations, which is the curly bracket. OK, so I did dash dash S. And then I gave it a style number of 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000. And it gave me all these different variables. So that's at the end of the prompt. It's just curly bracket, dash, dash, S, curly bracket, and then each of these numbers with a comma. And then that gives you all of this stuff, right? And the reason I did that is because I want to see what Midjourney can create. And then I'm going to pick one of these that I like the best uh, because I've got number of variations here, numerous variations. So I'm going to pick one of these. I'm going to make all the other letters just like that one. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And we'll be using power permutations with that. So don't worry, right? So. Here's the letter that I like the best. Of all of these, it's this one. It's kind of colorful. It's got a, a Mylar balloon look to it. Uh, I really like it. And we want to spell out the word sale, S-A-L-E. And I want to show you how easy this is. Of course, we can also make the whole alphabet if we want. It's super easy, just like I'm doing. But I don't need to do all that. I just need three other letters because they already like this one. OK, so because we're going to be using this in a graphic, I want to upscale. So I'm going to upscale subtle. But we don't need that right this second to make all the other letters. I just know that I need it um, to be able to use it in a graphic. OK, so here's what we do. First off, we've got a letter that we like. We want to use the prompt. And then instead of text S, we're going to put a curly bracket right here. This is the button right next to your letter key. Hold the shift key down and you get it. OK. And instead of an S, we're going to change that to A. And then after the comma, we're also going to do an L, comma, and an E. Now you need to use. The quotation mark, so Midjourney knows that you need, uh, that you meant uh, to do a letter, OK? So I've got an S, A, L, E, right? And so these are, um, got to use a comma and then a period. So this really helps to spell everything out. And what we do is we just use the use image just like that. And this is using this as our example for mid-journey to give us what we want. Now, just to, just to be clear, when we use the power permutations like this, we're going to create a lot of images. Uh, and here, we're going to do four images of the uh, A, of the L, and the E. So that's 12 images right off the bat. If you do a lot of this stuff with this technique, if you've got a lower mid-journey plan, it could eat up your uh, GPU hours, so just saying. I've got the top plan, so I don't worry about it, right? So anyway, here we go. Now, as you can see, I'm getting uh, an A, an L, and an E. And if what's really great is if I don't like these, for example, the L's look kind of iffy. I like the A's, especially this one. The E is OK. I kind of like this one, maybe this one. But the L's look weird. The best one is probably this one or maybe this one. We would probably just erase that in our other program. But I like this one. So let's just hit very strong a couple times. And then what that's going to do is that's going to give us the L's that we like, hopefully. 
Uh, that looks like a C. Here you go, right here. Perfect, okay? So we're using the uh, very strong command to get us what we want, okay? So we go in here, here's our L we like. Let's upscale that, and then we go over here to the E. I like this one, so let's upscale that. And then here's the A that I like. Let's upscale that, all upscale subtle, right? Now we've got an S, we've got an L, we've got all these letters that we can use, and we can put this all together in a program like Photoshop or Affinity Photo, and then we are good to go, right? So anyway, that's how we can do it. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll show you uh, the final result. I'm just gonna put that in with some Hollywood magic so you can see Midjourney doesn't put these letters together, but I wanna show you what the final result is so you can check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, please consider subscribing to the Midjourney Experience newsletter where we give you tips and tricks and uh, lots of information. So as a professional designer, you can use Midjourney to conquer your next project. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. See ya.